I started out myself nearly 30 years ago as a radio host, but apparently we're at the edge of extinction. I'll tell you everything about the first fully AI-driven radio station today, but first, an important update for podcast creators. Now, the first story, and it's quite a big one for podcast creators, is that YouTube has introduced podcasting on their platform. Well, sort of. You can upload a video and now you can make it into a podcast. Essentially, the way you do this is add it to a dedicated podcast playlist. And YouTube says that they'll feature it in podcast specific sections of the app and it'll even eventually come in the YouTube music app. Take a look at how exactly this works. You just upload and create a video as you normally would, but tag it as a podcast and upload square artwork instead of the normal rectangular thumbnails that you'd be used to on a YouTube video. They can be categorized differently, and YouTube also suggests some best practices for creating your very own podcast on their website. They've got some videos and tutorials on doing that. So we'll watch that with interest. I'm particularly interested to see how that goes. One thing I think that is glaringly missing at the moment is the fact that there's no RSS feed. So if you tag something as a podcast on YouTube, it is exclusively on YouTube. You can't distribute it to platforms like Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or anywhere else for that matter, like Spotify. So we'll watch and just see how that one develops. News update for Adobe Audition. Yes! Updates! Three new updates and they're game changers if you're a podcaster. They include clip markers in the multi-track mode, variable playback speed. Oh my goodness, my prayers have been answered. Finally, I can edit on, you know, a speed that's acceptable to me as opposed to chipmunk speed that I can't understand. And they also have the ability to copy and paste effects in the multi-track from track to track. Now you could do this before, it was convoluted. Now they've made it control or command C, control or command V, and boom, you are done. By the way, there is a video you can watch. Just click somewhere there and you'll find the video uh, to be able to go and watch all those updates. So thank you, Audition. And I hope it's the start of more podcast-friendly tools coming our way from Adobe Audition. Talking about Adobe Audition, Let's move to Premiere Pro. Well, actually, maybe let's move to DaVinci Resolve. Yeah, a lot of creators are doing that right now. A lot of very prominent content creators in the last month or so have announced on their channels that they are ditching Adobe Premiere Pro and they're going to DaVinci Resolve. So what's the fuss? Well, YouTubers like Peter McKinnon, Sarah Dietschy, Colt, and Matt Johnson are just a few that have publicly announced in the last month or so that they are switching to DaVinci Resolve. Why, you might ask? Well, there have been various ideas cited, such as stability. Apparently, a lot of YouTubers complaining that Premiere crashes quite a lot. Speed. Apparently, DaVinci Resolve, and I haven't tried this for myself, is much faster. It takes advantage of more of your computer's hardware and things like that. Features as well. And I have to say, I did watch Sarah Dietschy's video and was particularly impressed when she did demonstrate some of the audio features of DaVinci Resolve. So maybe I need to take a closer look at those features. And of course, Pricing. That's, a, that's always a big one, isn't it? Uh, particularly when you're paying a subscription every single month. Now, while I don't mind doing that and I love using Adobe products, particularly Adobe Audition, a lot of creators that are making one single podcast or one video don't need access to all of those apps. And they're quite happy to pay a one-off fee for DaVinci Resolve, the pro features, or just use it for free. Yes, it's free to start with. So that seems much more attractive to those who don't want a monthly bill coming in and totally understandable. So I'll watch that story with interest. Up next, the podcast show is coming. It's not far away now, the 24th to the 25th of May in London. Yes, you can book your tickets now and I very much hope to see you there. Music Radio Creative are gonna be representing. We're gonna have our very own stand. Come along, get yourself a jingle made live there on the show floor. Yes, it's gonna be phenomenal. Plus I'm going to be speaking. I've got a talk about revolutionizing podcast creation. I'll be showing you AI tools that can up upload and update your podcasting game. I can't wait to give this talk because AI, particularly generative AI, has been really heavily featured since we've entered 2023. It's all I've read in my news feeds. Generative AI, you know, it's, it's making text for you with ChatGPT. It's generating images for you with Midjourney. And of course, audio is really not far away from being completely generated and cleaned up by AI. Yes, it's a scary new world. And if you want to know how you can use it to your advantage, because 
I don't believe AI is going to replace us entirely. It's just going to make those of us who know what we're doing even more productive. So come along to my talk and meet the team from Music Radio Creative at the podcast show London. It's the biggest podcasting event this side of the pond, 24th to the 25th of May, 2023. And finally, a big shout out to Radio GPT. Is this the end of the radio host? Do you remember that song, Video Killed the Radio Star? Well, maybe Buggles were kind of right, but they needed to say AI killed the radio star. Uh, so here's something really interesting. It's a company called Futori, and they're a US company based in Ohio, I believe. They've developed an AI-driven radio technology called Radio GPT, obviously based off the, uh, the new technology that Microsoft invested billions into called Chat GPT. So Radio GPT can broadcast voice, music, it can find local news stories and create social media posts. In fact, it will drive through posts on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook to find out what's trending and then create scripts for a virtual radio host to read in between songs. Now, you can choose when you sign up to their plans uh, between an AI-generated voice, which is a completely never-heard-before voice, or you can replicate existing radio hosts. And hang on, that's the scariest part for me. You can replicate existing radio hosts. I, I hope with the consent of your existing radio hosts. Now, I'm just trying to think, when I was working in radio, how scary would that be? If I was sitting there in a studio and my boss, the, the program manager, came into my studio and said, hey, hey, Mike, um, we're just thinking uh, 10 minutes of your time in the production studio, just record this long script and we're going to send it off and you're going to be cloned. And I'll be like, what do you mean to say you don't? need me anymore? An AI can do my job? So if you're a radio host, a radio presenter, if you're currently working in radio, comment on this video and let me know how do you feel about technology such as this? And is it going to take away radio host jobs? Yeah, generative AI can do the lot. So we'll keep an eye on that. If any of the stories I've mentioned have caught your attention, do let me know what you think about them in the comments. Those are your news updates. I hope you've enjoyed them.